Hey fam, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I'm your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they want, need, and desire by helping them to implement simple tips and proven strategies. Today we're going to discuss the mistakes that we make in our relationships over time. Stay tuned. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So you want to know about the 10 mistakes that we're making in our relationships over time. Let's go ahead and talk right about them. The very first one is that we are not enforcing our boundaries. So you met a guy, you met a girl, you decided to let them know what your standards were. And in the course of you guys dating, you guys are both letting down your guard, you're talking more, you're hanging out more, but they start to do this very nagging thing, the very thing that you told them that you did not like or that was part of your boundaries. Let's talk about they are now calling you at all hours of the night, but you, yes, you never said that it was OK for them to start calling you at all hours of the night. So you start answering the phone at all hours of the night or answering the text messages at all hours of the night. And guess what? You have now started to give them permission to step over your boundary because you are not reinforcing it until you are comfortable with letting them call you or text you at all hours of the night. In this case, in this example, then you still should be enforcing your boundaries. That was a simple example, but whatever your boundary is, make sure that you keep enforcing your boundaries because we teach people how to treat us. You cannot be mad if he or she is going beyond your boundary when you have not enforced it, when you have not stopped it. Can't be mad. The second thing that we are doing, the mistakes that we are making in our relationship over time is to complain, 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 complain about our partners to everybody but our partner. Our partner has no idea that we out there talking trash. That we out there saying all of the stuff that he or she is not doing at the household. They don't know they don't know that you're doing any of this. They they really believe that you are a person with the integrity that you're not out there spreading rumors in their business. And on top of everything, you're doing all of this, but you have never once talked to them about it. I actually talk about this in my book, which is releasing next month. 20 ways to create an awesome love story. Yes, look out for that book. It is releasing next month. But I talk about this very thing in my book, how you should not be out there complaining and talking to your friends, talking to your family, letting everybody know about the things that your spouse, that your partner is not doing and you have not spoken to him or to her about these very things. And even if you have spoken to him or her about these things, guess what? You need to talk to him or her again about these things because we think that once we get into these relationships, we don't have to talk about these things anymore because we talked about it one time. That's not the way relationships work, sis. That's not the way relationships work, bruh. We have to go out there and repeat ourselves with everybody else. But as soon as it comes to our significant other, we actually have a problem doing this thing. Why? Why is that? It's because the person that's closest to you usually ends up getting the brunt end of the deal. We think that our partners are supposed to be perfect for us. They're supposed to know exactly what we want, exactly how to do what we want, and the time that we want them to do what we want them to do. <laughs> you set yourself up for failure don't do it so don't constantly complain about your partner about your spouse to outsiders especially if you have not talked to him if you have not talked to her the third mistake that we make is that we constantly question the relationship is it real is it fake do they actually like me do they really not are they showing me their representative is it truly them do they really like me are they just here for sex do they just want my money all of these questions just question 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 not realizing that you're secretly sabotaging your relationship I actually did a video about that secretly sabotaging your relationship of course i will link it up here at some point and down in the description box below so go ahead and watch that after this the fourth way that you are actually creating 
mistakes in your relationship over time is that you are not, you consistently are not creating a safe space for your partner, for your spouse to let down their guard, for them to openly talk to you, for them just for them to just be them. For some reason, they do not feel safe with you, so they constantly have up their guard. And over time, that can be very exhausting. And all of what I'm saying today, all 10 of these things will, at some point, will end your relationship. Because in this example, we all want to feel safe. I want to be able to feel like I can come to you and speak to you about anything. It does not matter what that anything is. Does it? You might not like the topic, but I still need to talk about it. We need to talk about it. And if it's important for me, it needs to be important for you. Maybe not at the height, right? Because importance is at levels. So your importance might not be at my importance level. However, I still need for you to hear me out. And I'm sure that you want me to hear you out when it's time for you to speak. So give me the same common courtesy. The fifth mistake that we make over time in our relationship is that we continuously put other people or other things ahead of our partner, ahead of our spouse. Whether it's work, whether it's a project, whether it's family members, whether it's your hobbies, whatever it is, over time they take precedence in your relationship, they become the priority, and your spouse is put into the background. Again, this doesn't happen overnight, but slowly but surely, most of us end up doing this stuff. We have to be intentional in our relationships for sure. Be intentional in your relationship. The sixth mistake that a lot of people make is that they actually snoop. No, your partner didn't catch you the first time. They didn't catch you the second time. They didn't catch you the tenth time. But at some point, you're going to end up being sloppy with your snooping. And guess what? I'm about to catch you. Because sure enough, what you do in the dark will come to light, boo. Snooping. Is not sexy. It actually says that you do not trust me. And if you don't trust your partner, then why are you there? What you doing there if you don't trust them? Even in the beginning. I get it. They haven't earned your trust. I get that. But that takes time to do. If you feel that you need to snoop, you need to work on you. You need to choose better people to be in relationships with or potential relationships with. Because especially if this is in the beginning, you already snooping. If if I catch you snooping in my stuff, you ain't even got to worry about me no more. I won't be there. Like what you doing? I can't I can't trust you. You looking for things so you can question me about, but I can't trust you. So why would I keep you around? Again, you might not get caught first time, second time, tenth time, a hundredth time, but at some point you're gonna get sloppy and you're gonna get caught. And this will surely if not that day in your relationship, because it could. But even if not that day, I'm definitely going to have a side eye on you. I'm be watching you. And then you don't trust me. I don't trust you. Again, what are we doing? Why are you there? It's a bit much. It's a bit much. And that actually says a lot about your character versus the person that you're actually snooping on. Moving on. The seventh mistake that we make in our relationship over time is consistently and constantly blaming our partners about any and everything. Doesn't matter. You put the blame on them all the time. Even when it's your crap, your stuff, you still not taking responsibility. You still putting the blame on your partner. So you just blame, 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 blame. You got to get it off your track. You got to get it off your chest. But instead of you being the big girl, being the big boy, you blame your partner. Or you blaming somebody else. It's always somebody else's fault and never your own. That's going to be an issue. If not in this relationship, the next relationship is going to be an issue until you start to man up, till you start to woman up and take responsibility for whatever it is that you consistently blame the other person for. The eighth mistake that we make in our relationships over time is that we don't talk about the uncomfortable stuff. We withhold the uncomfortable information. So a very small example, but you get my drift, which is maybe you really hate the way your partner chews their food, but you have never said anything. And every time they chew their food, you make noises like, oh my God, but you, all of this is under your, under your breath. So they can't hear what you're really saying, but they can hear the mumble or the, <sighs> 
oh my gosh, but like, like all of that. You're doing all of that, but your partner has no idea what it is. Again, it's a small example, but it could be the way that they talk loud on the phone. Like, <laughs> I actually have to tell my husband this because he talks so loud on the phone. He explained to me several reasons why he does it, but for me, he still talks so loud on the phone. Like, why? <laughs> Again, he has explained it, but it don't matter. Why you talk so loud on the phone? My point is, you have to bring up these uncomfortable little nuances and things that annoy you because that is only going to help your relationship and not hurt it. But if I don't know, I can't correct it. If I don't know, I can't correct it. If your partner don't know, they cannot correct said behavior. Y'all can't even have a dialogue about it because you withholding the information. So again, they don't know. You're the only one who knows what's going on up in your head. They don't have no clue. It's only you, boo. Only you. The ninth mistake that we make in our relationship is that we actually keep score. I bought this for you, so you need to be buying something for me. I did this for your parents, so you need to do something for my parents. I insert, so now you need to insert. That ain't the way it worked. Or, I apologized last time, so... <laughs> It's time for her to apologize. It's time for him to apologize. Don't keep score. Once that thing is done and over with, you need to throw it in the trash, get rid of it, let it go, move on. Because once you start keeping score, you're going to you, you gonna about to, yeah, I said that. you about to be petty betty. As soon as you start to keep score, you about to be petty betty. And this will end your relationship over time. The tenth mistake that we make over time in our relationship is at some point, all of the stuff that I've talked about prior to leads up to point number 10, which is you give up on your partner. You give up on your partner. You give up on the relationship. Hell, you even give up on yourself. You're like, you know what? I'm done. But that's a mistake in the sense if everything is going good, but your communication sucks, y'all just need to work on your communication. You can't say I'm sorry for whatever reason. Start saying I'm sorry not gonna kill you it's the little things that we have to do each and every day in our relationship so we can stay intentional and create the relationship that we want again i will bring up my book pick up my book 20 ways to create an awesome love story it releases april 2019 depending on when you're watching this video it could already be out but it will be on amazon at some point i will definitely link my amazon link as soon as my book releases next month. All right. I will see you guys in the next video. Two fingers.